All right, the live is loading up. And then I'm gonna start to share my screen on the app itself. All right, so you should be able to see my screen now. All right, so this is the opening of the Robinhood app. So where we'll be at in looking at the app. So it starts off with your investing account. So when you're using the app, basically Robinhood, you should have fractional shares of available. If not, right at the top, you can see there's a free stock option. When you click on that, you can share this app out and anyone that downloads this app and you share and invite them, you can get a free stock on Robinhood. So it's up to, uh, I believe $500 worth of stock per year, or it might be total, um, but you can get free stock. So that's a good, good thing to see when first sharing the app. Um, but the first thing opening up, it'll show your account, what you, where your investments are, how you how you've been tracking for the past 24 hours so that's what you're seeing on this first screen and then you can change that time frame from a day to how well you've done in the last week how well you've done in the last month the last three months and then the last year and how well you've done all time so when you're tapping on each of that's what each of these different uh options are so you have the live of how it is right now. You have the one day, which is one D is one day. And then you have one W, which is one week. It'll show you how your, how, your, how your portfolio has been doing for the past week. And then you have the one M for one month. So it'll show you how your portfolio has been doing for the last month. So you can see how it's gone up and down, but overall it's gone up $11.68 from this portfolio that I have in here, which is 4.53% in the past month. In the past three months, it's gone up 30% or $62. In the past year, it's gone up a total of 18% or $41. And all time, it's gone up 20% or $45 based on this profile that I have in this particular instance. The next piece is you can see your available cash, which is your, also your buying power. So you can see what you have available to spend in the app. And then just under that, you'll get tips from Robinhood. So you can scroll through these tips by scrolling left or right. And they will have different articles on different stock news. So Twitter tests the new voice tweeting feature and so you can go through all of these options to get some insight on some of the big news that is moving for the day. So T-Mobile outage that got mistaken for a cyber attack. So, so you can see all of these different market watch news articles, and then you can click on any of those and it'll open the actual full article, but you can see these headlines and they'll usually have 10 or 20 of them a day. So you can go through all these headlines and they'll tell you a lot of different information. It's a good place to learn, but once you get done, it'll tell you you're all caught up and you've gone through all the news cards today, but you can always just start it over if you, if you wanted to go back or you skipped one too fast, or you actually wanted to read a full article. So you have that. Then it'll actually list the stocks that you are invested in. So it'll show the different shares that you have from the, the different investments of stocks. And then it will go into the cryptocurrencies uh, that you have on your list, which you can watch list them and it'll show the ones that you have investments in. So you can see I have a couple of them invested and I have a couple of them that I watch. And then I have stocks that are on my watch list. So when you want to get a particular stock on your watch list, 
there's a cert, there's a little magnifying glass search icon right in the middle of the app. If you click on that, you can search any stock that you want. So say you want Amazon. So the Amazon stock, if you hit the plus symbol, it will add it to your watch list. So now I'll be watching Amazon. So now this is on my watch list. And if I want to buy that stock, once I click on it, down in the very bottom, it'll have a buy option. But you can look at the analysis ratings of each of the, any stock to get some kind of insight on if you should purchase that or stock or not. So right now, Amazon is at a 92% buy rating. So, and it'll give you more information on Amazon and it'll give you the different featured in lists that it's on. So you can see the different lists that Robinhood has put together of the top stocks in certain areas. It'll also show you some other stocks that people have bought and their percentages. So you'll see Google is up 0.42%, Apple is down 0.51% and Netflix is up 2.44%. And then it'll give you information about the company, the CEO, where it's headquarters, founded, employees, such as that. Then if you wanted to buy some of that stock, so I've got $2 available just sitting there. So I'll buy $1 worth of Amazon and I'll hit buy. And then you swipe up to actually execute that trade. So the market's closed right now, but when the market opens, it will purchase the shares, uh, it'll purchase $1 of Amazon stock. So then when I go back to my list and I scroll down, then I'll see Amazon on my list. So right here at the bottom above cryptocurrency, you'll see Amazon and there'll be zero shares with a little plus sign next to it because it hasn't been purchased yet. The plus sign is showing that there's an order for that to add Amazon stock. And then there's also, if you, if you're selling, there'd be a little minus sign showing that you're trying to sell that stock. So that's where it will show on your base screen. So you have that information. That's the main screen that you'll be on. You can go into your wallet. Um, once you get the, uh, the Robinhood card, you can get the Robinhood card and that will carry an interest rate of 0.3%. So if you transfer money into it and you just have it sitting there, you can accrue interest on that money that's sitting there inside the app as well. And then you have your messages. So this is what will let you know when your, your orders close out. So right now, and Robinhood has the message that they have my order to buy a dollar of Amazon stock. It'll be filled by the, the end of the market hours tomorrow. And then, so it'll, it has different, you know, automated questions that you can ask. Can I see more details? And you can click on those. Why hasn't the order been filled? The order hasn't been filled because it's after hours right now, but they'll give you article and help, help icon, help information if you need to click on any of those options but the messages will show you, you know, what's recently happened. So here was a deposit that I made, shows me more about the deposit. Then it'll show my, my recent buy order. So this is nine days ago. So my order has completed and it tells me the price it bought at per share. And then you have your profile, which is the last icon on the bottom is your profile, which you can transfer money back and forth. You can change your investment style. If you want to increase your buying power, you can increase your total and then you can increase your uh, account status. So my instant deposit health is in good status. That means I can instantly deposit funds and immediately invest them. And then I have dividend reinvestment enabled <laughs> on this profile. Um, so that will, any stock that has a dividend on it, that earns me a dividend for owning that stock, it will automatically reinvest that. So I'll show you what I'm, what that is mean. I haven't done option trading on this account, but I can enable it. And then day trading is where you buy and sell on the same day. So you, you can have day trades as well. 
So those are the different options you can have on your account. And then I'll show you what it means by dividends because I should have a dividend in here. So yes, here's Microsoft. I have, since I own the Microsoft stock, because I owned 0 0.08 shares of Microsoft on 520, I received a dividend payment of four cents. And that dividend was react it'll be re it was reinvested uh, with Microsoft since that's the setting that I have. You can either have it cash it out to you or you can have it reinvested. I choose to reinvest my dividends. So my dividend was reinvested and it got me another 000, 000, 0.00021 shares at a price, at an average price of 190 per share, 190.48 per share of Microsoft. So those are kind of the basics of Robinhood, of the different screens that you have and the different options that you have across the bottom and the different places that you can order, you know, the different stocks you can search. Uh, one other thing, uh, you might wanna search on popular lists. So if you hit the search and you just are on the browse section, you can see different articles from Robinhood. You can see some of the top moving stocks of the day. So you can see the ones that had the biggest gains. And then you can also see in more of the news articles and headlines for different stocks. There's quite a few different things that you can look at. And then they also have, like I was showing before, the different lists. I'll go into that. So once you are in a particular stock, you can look at different lists. So you can look at featured in and the featured in is a list. So like this list right here is the hundred most popular stocks. And you can see the top 100 most popular stocks that are on the app. So you can see their status. And if it's red, that means it's been going down. It's, it's been losing for that day. If it's green, it's up for the day. So that's how you can kind of read these quickly to see what's going up and what's gone down for the day. But then you can click on any of those stocks and see the actual percentage and where it actually moved. And then you can see the analysis. They always have the analysis ratings on there for you. This one has a 73% buy rating. And you know it opened today at $4.46. The high of today was $4.50. Today's low was $432 or $4, I'm sorry, $4.32. But then you can see the 52 week high, that's how high it's been in a year. And then the 52 week low is how low it's been in a year. And then you can see the, the volume movement of 3 million. And then you have the average volume of 8 million. And you can see their market cap of how much of the market they have in their industry of 1.17 billion market cap. And then the P&E ratio, it's profits and earnings ratio. And that's at 47.8. And then this particular stock doesn't have a dividend yield. So you'll see NA there, but stocks that do have a dividend we'll show a percentage there. So let me go over to Microsoft so you can see that after that example that we had of the dividend payout. So you can see Microsoft has a yield of 1.053% for their dividend yield. So you can kind of see that on the statistics. You can see their recent news. And right now their rating is an 88% buy rating. So you can see the buy ratings, the hold ratings, and the sell ratings by percentage on each, each and any stock that you want to look up. And you can use that by the search. So you can always look up different stocks or different lists. So if you want to go top movers or top 100, um, you can look at any, all kinds of different lists and industries. If you want to 
to look at like a technology one, you can look at, you know, the technology industry. So you can, so you can look at featured in technology. So you can get the top 500 technology stocks. If you search on, so there's a lot of different ways to search and find different stocks. But once you find something that you want to invest in or look up a name of a company that you want to invest in, then you can see what lists they're in to see similar stocks in that list. You can see their ratings and you can see also people also bought other types of stocks. So you can see very similar stocks or stocks in that type of industry or, or list. So if you wanted to move over to telecommunications, you can see the top stocks here in this list. And you can sort them by at the top right menu, the three dots, you can sort them by their price or their percentage that they changed by. So if you wanted to see how much they moved, you can see both of those options. So there's a lot of good tools in here and a lot of good search features. And then the best part that I like about Robinhood is the fractional shares to where you can buy, you know, a dollar of a, of a large stock like Amazon. So the true price of Amazon, a full share of Amazon would be $2,639, but you can purchase, you know, what you want of it. So you can purchase the, uh, the one stock, you know, the $1 or as much as you need of it. So I'll go ahead and unmute you and let you know if there, uh, let me know if you have any other questions or anything else that you wanted to see on the app. is the robin hood debit card you just transfer from your checking or savings account onto the card is that how that works yes yes so if you have the it once you get the card yeah you can just hit transfer and you can transfer to robin hood and anything that's in the app can be withdrawn directly on the card itself the card is linked to what you have in the app so i can either so the, the, I had $2 in there, I did the dollar uh, purchase of Amazon, but I still have $1.92 left from what I had in, sitting in there. So I can either use that to invest or it's automatically on my card. So whatever you have sitting in the app, once you have the card will automatically be added to your card. So you can either use it to invest or you can use it directly on your card. So that's another great way, you know, if you transfer money over there, if you, have, if you need to spend it, you can spend it or you can invest it. So, and if you, if you had some of your stocks that you were to sell, so like if I sold some of my shares, then that money, once the share settles, which usually takes a couple of days, uh, once the share settles though, it'll add it to my withdraw balance. So I can either withdraw that money or I can spend it on the card. So it lets you know exactly how much you have of what you can purchase. So it'll show there, if you hit on the little wallet, it'll show your buying power, which is what you can buy stocks with. And then it'll have withdraw and spend is what you can use on your card or you can transfer back out to your bank account. Uh, great question. Okay. Well, that's pretty much Of it. Okay, I broke up a little bit there. Did you have any other questions? Hold on, let me uh, try uh, ending the uh, screen share and see if that helps with the audio. Uh, did you have more questions, Des? No, I think that's it. Okay. But if I have any more questions, do you mind if I message you? Sure thing. Yeah, you can message me. All right. Well, I sure do appreciate your time. Oh, you're welcome. You have a good one. Yeah, bye -bye. All right. Bye.